Narcissus Narcissus' mother consulted a seer, asking if her son would be long-lived. The seer replied that he would be, but only if he never came to know himself. For many years, these words seemed like the cryptic ramblings of a charlatan, but unfortunately, in the end, they proved true. Knowing himself would truly claim Narcissus' life. I think I'm a masculine guy. But people say they know I'm gay. Maybe it's my mannerisms. Maybe it's who I look at in a crowd. Maybe it's my eyeliner. My family doesn't talk to me because I'm gay. So I deeply value people who can love and be loved in return. Here are the things you can choose. Friends. Lovers. Honesty. Here are the things you can't choose. Family, rising sign, sexual orientation. If you're thinking of choosing me, save us both time if the following applies. You're over 17 and your mommy doesn't know you're gay? You smoke anything at all? You don't believe in public displays of affection because you don't like it when straight people do it? If you choose me as a friend, I will be your gay friend. If you choose me as a lover, I will be your lover. Not a friend, not a roommate, but the guy you share a bed with. Your family will know that I'm gay. Your therapist will know that I'm gay. Your pet will know that I'm gay. And as for your mommy, no matter how butch you think you are, no matter how many lies she seems to swallow when she asks who you're with, no matter how carefully you switch from he to she in your conversation, she's known for years. And it may break her heart when she finds out what she already knows, but that's her problem, not yours. When Narcissus reached his 16th year, he had already become incredibly handsome, and he was lusted after by many. Super. If you have a type, you're not my type. Mathematical poet here, wrapped in the hard body of a competitive athlete. Faster than a snap queen's put down, more powerful than a right wing agenda, able to read tall books in a single evening, can wring spontaneous orgasms out of my partners with or without foreplay. Highly skilled at sport fucking and intimacy. I'm not impressed by my looks, even though some others are. I sing in the shower. I'm well regarded by pets, loved by roommates and children. I appreciate people with more than one set of numbers going for them, whether it's cock size, IQ, or age. I've had my world rocked by skinny skaters who fucked like footballers, tantric bears, scientists who don't get out much, artists who get out too much, fierce sissies who don't try to hide, closet cases who think their kinks are unusual, Hippies willing to fuck for a greener earth. I like to meet people who look at sex and love as wonderful and engaging, rather than frightening and confusing. People whose high opinion of themselves is justified and matches mine. The S on my chest is invisible, but it's there. But no one was able to touch his heart. He rejected everyone who mustered the nerve to make an advance. Countless others felt the cold contempt of Narcissus, too. Boys, girls, and other nymphs of all sorts. Digital Relations If you fall into the category of potential sex partner, you're not real to me. I don't have to treat you with courtesy, with integrity, with consideration. 
I can lie, I can ghost, I can change my mind, my plans, my attitude, and I don't need to inform you of it. None of the above makes me less than the good person I consider myself to be. My friends are loyal, my family thinks me dependable, I'm well regarded at work, my pets adore me, except the cats, but you know cats. We met on this app, so you should know the deal. If I don't find you attractive, I won't respond to you. So the protocol of dehumanization has already been established. All you are as we chat is a bunch of ones and zeros, and quite possibly deceitful ones. You may be lying about your appearance. You may be bad sex. You may have the same attitude about the people you meet online as I do. Besides, I'm mostly killing time, seeing who flirts, who bites, who gets bitten. If I say you're hot or I want to meet during our chat, it might be true at the time, but nothing is guaranteed. NSA sex means just that, no souls attached. You should know that. However, there would be a time when the bill for Narcissus' arrogance would come due. One who was scorned cried, so may he love and never win his love. The goddess Nemesis heard this prayer and saw that it came true, sealing Narcissus' fate. Dom Master Yes, I have a big nose, large feet, and I can reach a ninth on the piano. See my cockpicks at NudeDudes.com. I am a dominant master looking for a self-supporting, defined, HIV-negative, non-black, non-Asian, masculine but submissive, tough and masochistic, very oral cock slave, furry legs and ass, a plus. You are a local or relocatable guy who craves being controlled, raped, enslaved, used, and abused by a well-hung, sadistic, rough, and dominating master. Real-time and long-term. I am a Christian, a former Boy Scout who is sincere, loyal, thoughtful, honest to a fault, trustworthy, funny, and creative. Pianist, vocalist, and church choir master for 12 years. Envision sunset walks by a secluded pool. The two of us on God's green earth. You in a dog collar with spit shine spikes. I may be willing to move myself if you meet the above criteria and you prove your sincerity by coming to me for an interview. That concession I can make because really it's all about love. Narcissus came upon a secret pool, one never touched by any, not even the most wayward wanderer. The water was perfectly placid, so still as to be a liquid mirror. He bent down to take a drink, which was when he became ensnared, his own reflection keeping him in place better than prison bars or steel chains. A Theory of Attraction Yes, I'm beautiful. An accident of birth and genes. Yes, I'm buffed. A result of my love for lifting. Now here's the kicker. I'm only into geeks. An average build is fine, but math skills are a must. It's hard to believe, I know, but I don't want to date myself. Not interested in other jocks, model types, gym rats. If you describe yourself as VGL or hot or studly, we're not a match. Not sure if that's you? Are you shirtless, near naked in your profile pic? Do I have a clearer idea of your dick than of your IQ? Do you favor graphic handles like cum bungler, bottom meister, or anything else that would make your mother blanch? Congratulations, you're an instant turnoff. But if you're a square in your prime, if your circumference can top my diameter, and you're not afraid of the irrational, then I want your number. Here's a passage from Ovid's Metamorphoses that describes him falling in love with his own reflection. Spellbound, he saw himself, 
and motionless lay like a marble statue staring down. He gazes at his eyes, twin constellation, his hair worthy of Bacchus or Apollo, his face so fine, his ivory neck, his cheeks smooth, and the snowy pallor and the blush, all he admires that all admire in him, himself he longs for. How often in vain he kissed the cheating pool, and in the water sank his arms to clasp. No thought of food or rest draws him away, staring endlessly, his eyes his own undoing. VGL Just pondering the question. One among many. What does VGL really mean? Why do so many guys who describe themselves as VGL have no pick? Or why does the pick contradict the label? Who told a fat guy or the skinny twink that he was very good looking? Maybe his mother. I have another theory. I think VGL means very good liar. How do those bottoms stay so tight after being plowed a thousand times? Can you really have a bubble butt if you weigh over 200 pounds? How can you still be a boy in your 30s? And what's with those guys online who are 29 year after year? Does Einstein's theory of relativity cover this? Just how thick is thick? And why are the ones who are relationship oriented so eager to jump your bones? only to disappear when you try to reach them for a second date. God knows. Alphabet soup can be so hard to decode. GWM, BF, LTR, 420, BDSM. But in cyberspace, even simple words can be tricky. Hot hung masculine top seeks muscle bottom for dating. Nine words, five lies. So I don't know about VGL. If beauty is in the eye of the beholder, shouldn't the pick make the case without the words? Let me decide. I'm the one shopping. As for me, I'm fucking gorgeous. At first, Narcissus didn't understand his own tragedy. He thought himself and the reflection before him to be two different people, but as the truth dawned on him, what he thought to be an elusive lover became an inescapable curse, for he could never truly love himself as someone could love another person. All he could do was stare at a reflection, at a pale imitation. He would never be able to kiss or wrap his arms around the one he loved. The other half. I'm 55, a non-progressive, paused for 25 years. I'm single now, 20 years with my true soulmate, now gone. I've learned my independence these last two years, eating when I want, going where I wish, sleeping with whomever. Partnerships are about compromise, a skill that takes a subtle touch and an ego under voice control. It's work, work that pays off big, but work. So it's easy to be single, and yet the hardest thing I've done. I like the conversation, the inspiration, sharing comments over coffee in the morning paper. I like the vacations, the weekend getaways, the anniversaries. Yes, I am a romantic. At 55, I can pass an Adonis with firm muscles, fresh, smooth skin, and the energy for multiple orgasms. At 55, I know what I want. A man who speaks his fears, his love for me, his joy in life, a partner, friend, my soul's companion, and a total top. Loved. 
the certainty that he would never really be joined with whom he loved, drained the vigor of life from him, almost as if a mortal wound had been dealt from which his life's blood rushed out. And whenever he moaned, it echoed back from the forest around him. And when at last he said farewell, Echo replied farewell. His eyes closed for the last time. I like snowboarding, jet skiing, paintball, motocross, Ricky Carmichael. My build is athletic. I'm definitely a partier. As a paramedic, I get off on the adrenaline rush. You must be possessed of the following three non-negotiable items. A job, a car, a place to stay besides your parents' house. Looking for other dudes, 18 to 29, who look young and like to do guy things, like snowboarding, wakeboarding, jet skiing. Do not talk to me if you are a shallow, judgmental person who evaluates people based on color, race, drug usage, or anything else. People do things for reasons I may or may not agree with. I do not judge them. My dad, who introduced me to water and bikes, judged me. So I had to get a job, a car, a place to stay. At 17. All those who desired him were stricken by woe. A pyre was built, but there was no body to be burned. Where he drew his last breath, there was only a flower, a narcissus. Ripeness is all. The only reason I have a garden is to grow tomatoes which tastes like shit when bought in stores. Like so many gay men, they're beautiful and flavorless. Me? I'm less than beautiful, but more than tasty and ripe for settling down. Yes, men, that means I'm harvesting. I'm on the rebound and have made my bed of greens, and even the wine of love gone sour is used in vinaigrette. Bring your fixings to my dish. Scrape off the lies. Slice away false expectation before mixing in. I've had my share of smucks and losers. Just be real and ready to love. I have no plans to ride on the vine. Time to get married and settle down. Respect and trust and blah, 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 and meaningful relationship and blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. But most important is mutual appreciation, mutual acceptance, and a desire to grow old as a committed couple. And now that I've eliminated 99% of gaydom, I'll be coming to a city near you to find my mate. I know what I want, and I'm willing to search for it. This vine's a traveler. And remember, men, the world may see me as a vegetable, but actually, I'm a fruit. You're so beautiful. I love telling you that. 